Recently, my good friend Koompa invited me to help him on a project for the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. This is the same aquarium featured in the movie Dolphin Tale starring Ashley Judd, Morgan Freeman, Harry Connick Jr., and of course, Winter the Dolphin. Koompa makes some pretty amazing sculptures, many of which can be seen in the background of the movie as well as all over Florida, including Disney and the famous Frenchies restaurants. For this project, they asked him to repaint an animatronic turtle shell to make it appear more in line with the loggerhead sea turtle, which is common in the area. He actually sculpted this turtle, but another company was tasked with painting it, and it ended up looking more like a hawk's bill. The exhibit is meant to show how the team at the aquarium helps sea turtles recover from their injuries, many of which are caused by boats and fishing nets. Since the shell already had a protective coat on it, our first step was to sand down the surface to give the new paint something to adhere to. We used 600 grit sandpaper for this process, making sure to vary the direction of sanding to avoid any uniform streaks. It is also important to get all the little cracks and spaces between the shell plates. Then, we wiped it down with a damp cloth to remove any dust and debris. Once the surface was prepped, we applied several layers of paint using a natural sponge. Working from light to dark, we simply dabbed the layers one over the other, waiting several minutes between applications. Using small brushes we got into all the little seams and created tiny details like patches of algae and scratches that you'd likely find on the shell of a turtle in the wild. Because the exhibit will be featured up close, it was really important for us to get it as realistic as possible. Koompa and I recently worked on a large 3D street painting for the aquarium for their summer glow event. The event offers extended evening hours live entertainment, and free boat tours. This turtle exhibit is really cool. The fins are made out of rubber to allow a full range of motion while the mouth can open and close just like a real turtle. The last step in the process was to apply the protective coating. Since so many visitors to the aquarium will have access to touch the turtle, we wanted to use something that will last. We applied several coats of polyurethane to give it a nice solid surface. There you have it. The new loggerhead turtle is complete and ready to go into action. Check out the Clearwater Marine Aquarium the next time that you're in the Tampa Clearwater area. It's truly an experience that you won't forget. Oh,